First thing on the program is the Pledge of Allegiance. Smith, Will everybody please stand? Veterans, and salute citizens, your hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. Castro. Here. Davos. Here. Forrest. Here. Gillum. Here. Heyman. Here. Oshai. Here. Ismail. Here. Bizarre. Here. Leonard. Here. 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 Martin. Here. Molina. Here. 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 Nobody signed up to speak, so we'll move on to the approval of the minutes from May 12th. Would somebody like to move that? Mr. Davis moved. Barbara Nicky seconds. Is there discussion on those minutes or changes? <coughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay, we have presentation and approval of bills for the month of May 2015. Would somebody like to move that? If Mr. Heyman moves, Maggie Auger seconds. Is there any questions about the bills? This will be a roll call vote. Alan? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferreira? Yes. Castro? Yes. Davos? Yes. Cross? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Heyman? Yes. Oshai? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Colic? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. <coughs> yes. Motion passes. Now we have bids. Force Preserve 15 06 2388. There's a resolution <coughs> accepting a request for proposal for district money management services. Would somebody like to move that? <coughs> Mr. Davis moves that. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Mr. Lewis seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to give us a little explanation because I'm sure mm -hmm. some people don't, might not know what we're doing? Sure. What this is is uh, an RFP was put out in order to look at investing in some of the long-term funds that the district has. We're looking at the fund balance potentially in the general fund as well as the fund balance in the enterprise fund. Uh, we sent out an RFP to uh, 14 firms and received uh, proposals from four staff evaluated those and unanimously recommended um, the firm president here, Sawyer Falduto. Um, what we're looking at doing is investing a million dollars with them to manage. There would be a third party custodial services with those, and then they would uh, report quarterly to the finance committee meeting and would um, have a benchmark that would be agreed upon by both parties um, that they would compare their investment returns to the benchmark, which will be agreed upon at a later date. Is there any questions or comments? We're ready to vote. We'll have a roll call. Alan? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Davos? Yes. Frost? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Heyman? Yes. Oshai? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Bazaar? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Pollock? Yes. Smith? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Motion passes. The next one is land acquisition. Force Reserve 1506 2389. It's a resolution authorizing acquisition of land by purchase or eminent domain of Patent Industries Incorporated property, property located in Blackberry Township. Would somebody like to move that? Deborah moves it. Mr. Heyman seconds. Would you like to explain this? <coughs> sure. Everybody understand what we're doing? Go ahead. No, I can explain it. This is a property that's right on the outside of downtown Elburn. Uh, the patent building, it makes up two parcels, uh, about 18 acres. Each parcel is nine acres. Uh, one parcel is a vacant lot 
currently farmed. The other one has the patent buildings on it. Uh, two separate buildings of which they total about 18,000 acres. So we've been evaluating that as a potential option for the natural resources building versus building the new buildings out at the Meisner Corps on Forest Preserve. So this just authorizes us to uh, continue to negotiate on the property and work with the village of Elburn through all the processes. Incidentally, the property has been empty for probably either five to seven years. It's really a nice building to walk through it. It's bigger than we need, but we can grow into it. It's, it's an excellent site. Philip? I think it's also important to note that um, there'll be a number of uh, uh, Forest Preserve personnel located at this facility. Uh, and I believe the number was 14, up to, up to 14, was that correct? Correct? up to 14 people. And so I think uh, for the community of Elburn to have the benefit of 14 good jobs uh, coming to the community is a very, very good asset. And so I think, um, you know, I'm encouraged to vote for this. Barb? Thank you, Mr. President. The uh, parcel with the buildings on it, that is on Elburn City Sewer and Water, is that correct? Yes. Right. And then the farm parcel to the south of it is not on is not annexed into Elburn? Correct. Okay. Thank you. All right. This is a roll call. Mm -hmm. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Davos? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Payne? 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 Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Yes. Motion passes. This is the following are intergovernmental agreements. One is for service 1506 <coughs> 2390 resolution amending an agreement with the Wayne Area Conservation Conservancy Foundation for restoration at the Hoshite Woods for the Well, that's a nice swing with that name, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Would somebody like the bar moves it? Seven seconds. Um, the Swain Conservancy Foundation was active in helping us to acquire that. They're really great friends. They're so good they even paid for the seed to seed the back of that. And, um, it's, this is just another example of what John Holshack did as building friendships throughout the county. Anybody have any other questions about this? You ready to vote? <clears throat> okay. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Dallas? Yes. Frost? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hayman? Yes. Hoshe? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Kazar? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Paula? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Motion passes. Forest Preserve 1506-2391, resolution authorizing the participation of the Forest Preserve District of Kane County in the St. Charles Active River Committee. Mr. Lewis, Mr. Davis seconds. Would you like to talk about this fellow? I can talk about you. Are you? Are you? <laughs> the um, uh, River Corridor Foundation is investigating uh, an amenity to the Fox River that would enable uh, kayaking and um, you know, uh, rapids kinds of water recreation. And they are uh, I don't know, seeking partnerships with the King County Forest Preserve, King County, City of St. Charles, and the St. Charles Park Districts. And um, what this resolution provides is it provides our uh, basically our support and agreement to the uh, investigating the concept of using the river in that way it does not obligate the forest preserve to any financial uh, future financial obligations mm -hmm. and I think uh, just in general uh, as we you know uh, entertain opportunities on how to use our river at the Fox River uh, we uh, for instance uh, have a license with the rowing club uh, on a preserve just north of Redgate Bridge. And, you know, the beneficial use of the, of the river and our proximity to the river and our, ability, our abilities to enable uh, organizations 
to you know, provide services to citizens, provide recreational opportunities to citizens. That's in the wheelhouse of what we're about as a forest preserve. It's quality of life and active living. So I support this and um, you know, I'm confident that my fellow commissioners will do the same. Any other comments? We had a vote. Okay. Alan? Aye. Hogger? Yes. Romero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Davos? Yes. Cross? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Heyman? Yes. Oshite? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Kazar? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Collar? <coughs> Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Wernacki? Yes. Motion, motion passes. The next is 1506-2392. Resolution authorizing an aerial easement for Commonwealth Edison on the Fox River Trail. Would Mr. Heyman moves? Thank you. Maggie, Margaret, Margaret Auger second. <laughs> Margaret moves. Not Margaret. Not Margaret. I have no personnel. Um, <laughs> would you like to explain the commission what we're doing? Sure. This is a uh, easement across the Fox River Trail, uh, right at the Stearns Road. Uh, crossing location just north of, of uh, the roadway. And this allows for an aerial easement for ComEd. There's no infrastructure that will be on our property. It's a 20 foot wide by 60 foot long uh, aerial crossing. The district will receive $10,000 in compensation for that. And the aerial easement will allow for the swing of the line necessary in the case of winds. Okay, ready to vote. Allen. Yes. Herrera. Yes. Castro. Yes. Davos. Yes. Roz. Yes. Gillum. Yes. Heyman. Yes. Oshai. Yes. Ismail. Yes. Bazaar. Yes. Lewis. Yes. Martin. Yes. Molina. Yes. <coughs> Silva. Yes. Smith. Yes. Winnecke. Yes. Motion passes. The next business is for <coughs> 1506-2393. Resolution establishing the prevailing rate of wages. Mr. Heyman moves. Christina Castro seconds. Is there discussion? Mr. Frost. Talked about this at length at exec, so I really won't uh, do so today, but I, I do oppose this. It's not really our place to oppose it. It's a state law. We have to approve the rates every year. Uh, however, in Illinois, the rates have now become interpreted as the union scale, which is significantly higher than the average construction workers uh, wage in Illinois. About 80% of the construction workers in Illinois are non-union construction workers. The taxpayers of King County are paying a premium of uh, 10, 25, and even greater percent on our jobs. Um, I'm going to vote a symbolic no today, and I'll be just discussing this further at the uh, county board. Thanks. Are there any other comments? Brian Hall, do you want to see your hand? Moving over there. I think, no since this, I think since this is going to probably become a more extensive conversation for the next meeting, I think uh, for the full county board, I'm going to save my comments for the next one. Okay, ready to vote. This is another roll. Boy, Pat's really earning your keep today, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pat. Alan. Aye. Auger. Yes. Ferrero. To approve the program You want to approve all yes. the Castro. Yes. Devos. Yes. Roz. Yes. Heyman. Yes. Hoshite. Yes. Ismail. Yes. Lewis. Yes. Martins. Yes. Molina. Yes. Pollock. Yes. Silva. Yes. Smith. No. Winnecke. No. Motion passes. Where I get to vote, I would vote yes. Now I'm going to move to the back page under ordinances 15060510, ordinance of providing for the issue of not to exceed 16,500,000 general obligation limited tax refunding bonds, series 2015A <coughs> of the Forest Reserve District of Kane County, Illinois, for the purpose of refund, refunding certain outstanding bonds of said Forest Reserve District providing for the levy of a direct annual tax to pay the principal and interest on said bonds and authorizing the proposed sale of said bonds 
to the purchase, Sarah. Boy, isn't this nice. Ken, would you like to elaborate? Sure. What this is, and I'll touch on all three, even though they have to be voted on separately. The first ordinance is the refunding of the 2006 um, issue. What this is, is due to favorable um, interest rates, we're looking at saving interest expense on the bonds. Um, this parameters ordinance allows for the next six months that when markets move um, in a favorable fashion that the president would have the authority to execute and authorize uh, Spirit Financial to sell the bonds. Actually, about two to three months ago, the rates were much more favorable than they are. They were creeping up a little bit. But we have some time because the call date for both this one and the next one isn't until December 15th of 2016. Um, if you ran a net present value currently, you'd probably be looking right around about a million dollars in savings on the 2006 issue because it's a larger one, and then about 250000 in savings on the 2008 issue. Uh, the interesting thing on the 2008 issue, that's the alternate revenue bonds that were used for the Cougar Stadium. Those are abated every year, and the district pays for the principal and interest payments on those uh, through the revenues we receive from the Cougars on an annual basis. So therefore, any savings on interest expense there would go directly uh, to offset and increase the revenues we receive and keep for the district themselves. The third ordinance is just an, uh, setting up an escrow agreement since this would be considered an advanced refunding and escrow would be set up to hold the funds until the call date for both of these uh, bonds. We'd like to do both of the bonds together just to help save a little bit on issuance costs since the 2008 issue isn't that large of an issue. This is just wise management of our taxpayers money. John, would you like to comment on that? Just to say that uh, this is something that we've done periodically uh, over the years. Certain bonds are callable at certain times, and as we get closer to the call date, then the interest rate uh, benefit of refinancing exists. I, you know, in the past, we've had specific ordinances for specific refinance date. This doesn't commit us to do a refinance. We would only do it if the interest rates were favorable. I know there's been some other options discussed here. Obviously, the key is to reduce the uh, interest rate cost. On the $16 million bonds, any interest savings uh, goes right to the taxpayers. Come, it's, a, it's just a, a simple reduction in the property tax bill. Um, the interest rate savings on the $7 million bond issue would result in uh, less interest payments out of our enterprise fund and then allow that fund to continue to build up for forest preserve operations and, and capital improvement issues. Sure. John moves it and Mark seconds it. Ready to vote? Or Barbara, would you like to comment? Uh, thank you. I just uh, would like to ask for a periodic update um, as far as um, uh, moving forward with this, whether it's from our office or from Mr. Phillips publicly. So. We can do that. Can thank you. Sure, sure, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. This parameters ordinance is valid for six months. If we execute it, we would definitely uh, present that as soon as the sale were to take place and what the actual savings were. Um, if it doesn't occur, we may come back for a new parameters ordinance after the six months since we still would have approximately almost a year to the actual call date, just depending on, on uh, interest rates at that point in time. Very good. Thank you. Ryan? I know we talked about this at Finance Committee, but I want to make sure everyone else understands. Um, this is not the type of um, refinancing or the type of um, lowering of interest rate where we're going to take a short-term debt and stretch it out over 30 years or something. This is going to be a directly, the savings is going to the taxpayers and it's not lengthening the amount of our debt, correct? Correct. It's, we're looking at basically about the same footprint just to make sure, you know, it, it's systematic so we keep a level debt service payment. Uh, the whole reason for doing this is interest savings. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate and thank the uh, Forest Preserve and all of its members for uh, working and producing savings uh, for the taxpayers on interest rates. Uh, it's a really good thing. I'm assuming, and we are all assuming, that uh, as uh, Mr. Pollack just mentioned, that it's less than or equal to uh, the time that was out there, uh, and also that it's within the current levy uh, uh, levels. Uh, an idea that I would ask uh, the uh, Forest Preserve commissioners to consider and the leadership uh, and the administration to consider something that uh, is being talked about right now, and that would be 
uh, carving out the near-term obligations of the Forest Preserve in a way that the county could participate as a purchaser. You know, right now, the county uh, invests about uh, $200 million, a little over $200 million, and the return on investment is about six-tenths of one percent. Six-tenths of one percent. If we were to become buyers of the Forest Preserve bonds, you know, part of that market, but in an efficient way, as long as it doesn't hurt the Forest Preserve interests in any way, that would be a prerequisite, uh, then we would most likely, when you work out what the um, discount would be on those interest rates uh, over time, approximately one and a half percent to two percent uh, over a three to five year period of time. So rather than earning on uh, you know, a certain portion of this, I believe it's about $6.2 million, uh, six-tenths of one percent in how we currently invest, you would provide an option for the treasurer to come to you and ask for your approval. Can we invest at one and a half to two percent? And it means more than a million dollars of, I mean, it's like a win, 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 where it means more money uh, into the treasury for spending in others. I would just ask for consideration as you structure it to give some thought to that. We will have a special finance committee meeting and then we'll talk about the survey. But um, thank you for coming up with thinking outside of the box. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Are you ready to vote? We have to keep you burning that money, Pam. I know. <laughs> Alan, I, Hawker. Yes. Ferreira. <coughs> Castro. Yes. Damos. Yes. Frost. Yes. Gillum. Yes. Heyman. Yes. Oshai. Yes. Ismail. Yes. Kazar. Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Marina? Yes. Pollock? Yes. Shesto? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 1506-0511. Ordinance providing for the issuance of $7 million taxable. General obligation refunding bonds. Alternative revenue store series. 2015B of the Forest Preserve District of Kane County for the purpose of refunding certain outstanding alternative bonds of said Forest Preserve District, <coughs> providing for the collection, application of funds and deposit in, in said Forest Preserve District general fund and the levy of a direct annual tax sufficient to pay the principal and the interest of said bonds and authorizing the proposed sale of said bonds to the purchaser thereof. Mr. Oh. Davis is moving <laughs> in. Who was it? But Becky Gillum's second. Is there, this is the same information you just got. So, ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alan, uh, Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Davos? Yes. Yes. Gillum? Yes. Heyman? Yes. Oshai? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Kazar? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Yes. Shefko? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Vasquez? Abstain. <laughs> Wernicke? Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 1506-0512. Ordinance authorizing and directing the ex execution of an escrow agreement in connection with the issuance of not to exceed $16,500,000 general obligation limited tax refunding bond series 2015A and not to exceed seven million taxable general obligation refunding bonds alternative <coughs> revenue source Series 2015B of the Forces of the District of Kane County. Mr. Davis moves, Mr. Heyman seconds. Ready to vote? Okay. Alan. Yes. Yes. Ferrero? Yes. <coughs> yes. Davos? Yes. Frost? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Heyman? Yes. Oshak? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Cesar? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Pollock? Yes. Sheffield? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Vasquez? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Stir? Yes. Would you like to join us? Yes, sorry. 
Come ahead. That's all right. Motion passes. The next is Ordinance 1506-0513. Ordinance amending an ordinance setting the salary ranges and employee positions of the Kane County Forest Purdue District of Kane County. Mr. Heyman moves. Mr. Lewis seconds. Is there discussion on this? <coughs> we are ready to vote again. I'm ready. Challenge. I. Parker. Yes. Ferrero. Castro. Yes. Yes. Cross. Yes. Killam. Yes. Heyman. Yes. Osha. Yes. Miss Mill. Yes. Sark. Yes. Lewis. Yes. Martin. Yes. Molina. <coughs> Pollock. Yes. Sheffalo. Yes. Silva. Yes. Smith? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Vasquez? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Motion passes. I have to read to you this morning Resolution 1505-2369, Resolution Honoring John Oshai and the Naming of the Forest Reserve District in his honor. See, I'm working on this. Whereas John Oshai honorably and conscientiously served with citizens. Kane County in various elected and appointed positions with the Forest Reserve District of Kane County, and whereas the current land acquisition program that has allowed the district to provide thousands of new acres of open space for the citizens of Kane County was under the leadership of Don Hoshai as president of the Forest Reserve District of Kane County, and whereas the Forest Reserve District purchased its 162.62 acre property. 2011, known as the Little Woods Forest Reserve in St. Charles, and whereas the Board of Commissioners of the Forest Reserve District of Kane County being admitted and proper to honor John Hoche by naming the Little Woods Forest Reserve in his honor, now therefore be resolved with the Board of Commissioners of the Forest Reserve District of Kane County that probably known as Little Woods be hereby named Hoche Woods Forest Reserve. by surprise when the, the board discussed this in the first instance. This isn't about individual uh, recognition. This is really a team effort. I know we discussed our bonds here uh, today and we've been working at paying them off. And, and since I've been on the board, really the, the citizens of Kane County have chosen to invest in their forest preserves districts. And if you look at our tax levy, 80% <coughs> of that is, is uh, for debt retirement. It's for paying for the investment in the properties we've acquired. Over the years, you know, we started with about 5,000 acres. Now we're 22,000 acres. There's been a lot of transactions that have occurred over the years that we've all been a part of uh, that have been very rewarding to be involved in. And uh, this is going to be a great legacy. In a couple of years, we're going to have a major payoff of our, uh, our mortgage. Uh, we're going to have a significant reduction in our tax levy. And uh, it's great that uh, the community has been behind the investment and that the uh, community has been able to just recognize the, uh, the benefits of doing that. So thank you as a group. I accept this on behalf of the entire board, not only this commission, but the prior commissioners that have worked and the commissioners in the future that are going to carry this process forward. I, I do encourage the uh, commission to continue with our land acquisition program. I think it's the one area of government uh, that we haven't had much conflict with. The community supports mm -hmm. open space, even in tough times. The last referendum we passed was probably at the worst economic time. and. Uh, the people have said, I want to, I know where I'm going to get a good return on my dollar. We really operate this district based on 20% of the revenue that we receive in the tax levy, and that's just a testament to what a great staff we have. So, thank you again. I appreciate it. Now, if you're all aware of the 
the Dub Allen has a new seat mate. This is <laughs> celebrating June as Dairy Month. And Mr. Heyman is, is going to help me pass out cups of ice cream if you so choose. You can have a cup of ice cream and celebrate with you. I used to try and say, hey, the dairy farmer to breakfast, but it never works, so I might as well buy you some ice cream. They're always working. And then we're going to be dinner. Oh, wait a second. We can't. Wait a second, Amy. <laughs> we can't adjourn without Amy. <laughs> we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? <laughs> Mr. Mark. I have, I have a comment. Mr. Uh, Mark has a comment. Those of us on this side of the room all morning have been looking at the fact that Mr. Davis, Commissioner Davis, raspberry socks clash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is Black Rock Red Top. Way to go, Black Rock. I was hoping for this to be a bit more celebratory. Well, I thought if we were going to if we were going to go into executive session to talk about, session to talk about discord, time. we could do it there. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. The reports on file. Oh. Brian makes a motion for reports on file. Thank Susan you. Stewart seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> By the way, he has red socks on. He's he's behind the team, even though they're got to commit to the Indian. Yeah, they're going over Indian. behind Tampa Bay. So, all right, we are adjourned. <laughs> you like you like you should call for a vote. Yeah. 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 Yeah.